I'm about to delete over 200 gigabytes of personal files from the scammer's computer, and he can't get them back. I initially gained access to this guy's system about a year ago, and I thought that I had done enough to scare him into quitting, but he ended up coming back. The best part about this was he did not know that I was waiting and able to watch his computer. And on top of that, he had downloaded all of his personal files onto his scam PC. And dude, like literally thousands, thousands oh, of files. Crap, yeah. I have the scammer's real name, photos from his WhatsApp account, and even his exact location in Rajasthan, India. A lot of this footage is going to be behind the scenes. And what I mean by that is, this is after the original phone call took place because it was a quick phone call. So you're gonna see me going in and deleting files, including the guy's backup. You're gonna see me finding his location and just doing general investigation once we have access to this guy's system. And with all that being said, get ready for some file deletion, some backup deletion, where these files are gone forever. Let's get into it. Before we get started, I want to explain something to you really quickly. Now you may hear parts from this call that was used in another video. And the thing is, is that this was the same refund scammer group, but they're two different scammers. The guy that we're exposing today was the initial scammer or the opener that we got access to a system. Thank you for calling Masterpiece. My name is Eric. How can I help you today? Uh, hi, Eric. I'm, I've been on the phone with Jonathan for about 20 minutes trying to get this stupid computer going. Do I give you this address or, or maybe you can pass me to Jonathan or can I just give you the address? Let me continue from there where the, where the Jonathan left. So let, do I need to give you this code? Yes, ma'am. So right now you are on a screen with a black with a black background, yes. a big Google in the middle. Correct? Yes, 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 yes. So when the scammer connects to me, I can then connect into his computer. He's got to accept the request first. From there, I've got to stall because I've got to get a file onto his system. And I got to blur a couple of things as well because we can't share our entire process, but eventually it leads us to extended access. You can see my screen. Yes, and the code is working completely fine. Just Thank hold you on so one much second. for your patience. So can you please, can we stop for one second though? Because I want to ask you a couple of questions just while I have you because um, do you know why um, someone even charged me in the first place? Because what happens sometimes, no, it will not charge you. It was free for one year. Okay, let me connect you to my supervisor directly. The good news is the amount is canceled for you already. Okay, darling. You will get a call in one minute shortly. Have a great day ahead, ma'am. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh, it's so good. <gasps> Man, that's good. Okay, so we have another access. Um, I was going to start downloading stuff too, but I didn't get a chance to. So we will keep watching that one. So we'll see if they come back or not, or if this guy comes around. Okay, so it's Friday, April 26th, and the scammer is back online. He's got three drives, C drive, D drive, and a G drive. His G drive is his backup. He's got personal photos, scam files all over here, about 200 gigs of files. So it's hard to download all these, but I got as many as I could, and we're going to remove the rest of them from his computer so he doesn't have them anymore. I'm gonna go to his backup drive first, and I'm just gonna start deleting. <laughs> Here goes the whole drive, and then delete. And it crashed the connection. This file browser is a little finicky. Oh shoot, no, it's deleting. Yeah, they're deleting now. Okay, they're deleting. Yep, okay. You just kind of have to do a little bit of, at a time. So this process, as you can see, I'm going in and deleting. If you do too many, it's just going to crash the, crash the connection. So. This guy has been uh, scamming for a very long time on and off for well over a year. Typically you guys see the, the reversals and then the file deletion, but this is when we have extended access and we're able to delete these files. So he's gonna have a very clean computer after this.
I'm gonna put a file on his computer as well. So after I delete everything on his desktop, I'm gonna put this one file on there a bunch of times and see if he's gonna call me. I'm gonna go to his desktop. I'm gonna remove everything from there. Okay, so desktop's cleaned. So I'm actually gonna put this file on his desktop right now. I'm gonna do it 10 times. So I'm gonna upload this file 10 times to his computer and hopefully he'll call. Seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, so we uploaded it. We uploaded the file 10 times. So now we're gonna go to his documents. He's got a lot of documents. A lot of these, again, guys, a lot of these documents are like scam files and stuff like that. So this is information on potential victims. A lot of times these scammers, when they're trying to get new leads, they will go and they will buy a list of people who have been scammed previously for $200, $300, $500. They'll call them again after a couple of years and tell them that their support is out of renewal and they'll try to get payments. I've seen that a lot. So we're gonna make it so this guy can't scam anybody. His computer is pretty much gonna be uh, rendered useless. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna open up the file uh, on his desktop and I'm gonna open it so he sees it and he'll call me. Oh yeah, this guy's got a lot in his downloads folder. He's got a lot of, uh, got a lot of movies he's pirated, a lot of games, a lot of Facebook, WhatsApp, pictures, videos, all that going to be deleted. If anything, this guy's computer is going to run a lot faster because there, there will literally be no files on there. We've removed the desktop, we've removed documents, removed downloads, we've removed his backup, and I think there's one more drive, the D drive, that we're gonna work on now. Yep, the, his D drive, oh, you know what? This is really funny. He has uh, an episode of Jamtara, which is uh, one of the popular shows out of India about the, the call scams and things like that. And uh, a lot of the scammers, they loved watching that show and they kind of thought of themselves as Sonny uh, from Jamtara, so. We'll delete those as well for him. Yeah, deleting this one folder that I'm deleting right now on his D drive. It might crash it again, we'll see. Oh, it's gone. So his D drive is completely clean. I checked his drives before I started doing all this over 200 gigs of files, whether it's pictures, videos, you name it. And we'll go through some of the files that he had as well. He might have shut down, honestly, because he saw me clicking around. Yeah, I think he's done. He, he, he's not on any shutdown. So we have the exact location of the scammer, and he's in Jaipur, Rajasthan. And we actually found a hostel that I'm pretty sure he's living in uh, right here on the street view. So we were able to not only delete this guy's files, We've got his location in Rajasthan, India, and um, hopefully he's not going to scam anymore. That's that's the hope. We've got his photos, we've got his location, all that. So yeah, this guy's done for. His computer shut off, he's not coming back online. The next thing we're gonna do is go through his files, and I'm gonna show you everything that I got from him. I showed you this guy's location, and we're about to get to his files. But first I had to make sure that my own location was protected. So when this scammer was on my computer, I made it look as if I was from California by using NordVPN. With a single click of a button, I was connected to a California server. My IP address was hidden and my internet traffic was encrypted. And I do this every single time I mess with these criminals. And also even when I'm at home on my TV, on my phone, tablet, you name it, NordVPN is cross-platform. So they're on every major platform that you use to protect you. Their servers are super fast and they have lightning quick servers around the world. So you won't even notice that you're using a VPN. One of the features on top of their VPN that we use in our office here at Scammer Payback is their mesh net functionality. And that allows us to send files around the world securely and quickly. Head on over to nordvpn.com slash pierogi for a four month exclusive free offer that you're not gonna find anywhere else. You can try Nord for 30 days, risk-free. If you don't like it, you get your money back guaranteed. Now let's get back into it and check out this guy's files. I have so many scammer files. Yeah. I tried downloading as many files as I could. And Jeez. he had thousands, dude. So. How many is that? Like literally when I was downloading, it would crash because he, this is from his WhatsApp. Like, so he had a huge backup that had all of his like social media stuff. Or it might have been like his girlfriend or wife's backed up to his computer. Like a Divya situation? Kind of. But it's definitely got him in it. Like there's a bunch of these like lists with 
previous victims or you know phone numbers, emails, address. There's all the scam lists that all got deleted. Like this, for instance, this one has 216, 2024, phone number, first name, last name, and dollar amount. So like, I guess these people are all scammed, honestly. So he's probably calling these people up. That's insane. But it's, it's like, the list goes on, look at this. <laughs> and this is from 2024. Like the list continues and continues and continues. Yeah. You know, there's bank statements. Um, Banu is his name. But then obviously this is what everyone's here for. I'm pretty sure this is our guy right here, Banu. And uh, he likes to smoke hookah. As they do. <laughs> if you go like fast enough, it's kind of... Love stop motion films. Yeah. Yeah, this is Banu traveling, having fun with his friends and family. I mean, dude, we have, honestly, these are, we have so many, so many. And this guy took a lot of these photos. Yeah. I don't think it's him because I think the majority are this guy. But this guy took a lot of photos with him too. So, yeah. Um, they, dude, like literally thousands Thousands oh, of crap. files, yeah, of him out with his buddies doing their thing. Um, he's not very good at the scam game, in my opinion. Well, yeah, you got his, <laughs> you yeah. got his computer pretty easy I from what I heard. Do it this way, actually, pretty sure that's Bonnie right there. Huh. And then, you no, know, they're just doing their thing. I tried loading his camera and it's covered up. Ah. But um, yeah, this is our scammer and his friends or family living their life. This is like all his WhatsApp images and stuff. Yeah. And then again down here, you, you can scam see yeah, scam things. Again, more WhatsApp of refund stuff. So th there's evidence that this guy, look at this, all these. Oh uh, yeah. So he has phone number and phone number, phone number. So they call all these people that have been scammed and then pretend to be support or whatever. I mean, yeah. You know, he's, so You're screenshots good. from victims, their banking information, account numbers, phone numbers, all of that. And he's just got a plethora of this information on his computer. He has it backed up everywhere. So again, like not to say this guy's gonna steal somebody's identity, but goodness, scammers like think about like just all the kind of information that these guys have on people and that we have on these scammers. But it's sad that, um, this guy left all these files on his computer because now they're gone, unfortunately <laughs> for him. But now they're for um, us. Yeah, and then he again he backed them up, but um, that doesn't really do anything when we have the backups. So the backups are gone. So um, I'll just leave this one here. This last sweet photo. Good old color run. Yep. So Banu. Sorry about your files, Bonnie, all 200 gigs of them, but um, they had to go. <laughs> he had 200 gigs. Dude. 200 gigs. No, he had so I'm telling you, I've never seen, I've never seen the programs crash when you're like downloading the files yeah. and his internet and like his computer, everything is like, ee, like just revving up because I'm, I've had to download so many and it's just file after file after file after file. So it was nice just to delete them after a while because it was taking so long to download all these files, but. So I guess, Bonnie, if you want these, you can shoot me an email um, and I can send these back to you if you want. But they're gone from your computer. Anything else that I'm missing, do you think? I, I, can... I mean, this is just file review. <laughs> 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 That's a good one. So I waited a week for this guy to call me back. He never did. And he actually hasn't even been online since. I assume he's spooked and he's learned his lesson. Now, if you're a member of this channel, we're gonna be doing a live stream soon where we go through all the files and show you as much as we can unblurred. And also if you're on Patreon, we're gonna be doing the same. We'll be posting all the files, all the photos, everything unblurred for you to see. So we appreciate everybody's support from memberships to Patreon. This has been Paragua Scammer Payback saying don't get scammed.